on today's episode, we're, we're working on the computer. Yeah! Yeah! Yay! On today's episode, we're going to be hopefully uh, plug in all the SpearTech connectors and sensors, mount the ECU, and uh, hopefully have enough time to pull the gas tank and figure out all the AN lines that I need. Um, watch. But first, here's a word from our sponsor. Okay, we got it. So yeah, I had to get a new rag joint. I think it's a, I believe it's a 30 spline. But okay, good. rag joint is in. Not sure if I showed these, but uh, I got these from Hillbilly Wizard. They were on sale. They're pretty beefy diff covers, man. So I got the 14 bolt and the Dana 60. <laughs> I like the hammered look, but I think I might paint them tan to match the transfer case. Also have crossover steering bars and the tie rod, heavy duty tie rod, man. This thing is beefy. So I might paint these tan also. And then I have the um, sway bar. I get that mounted also. All right, I got the main things plugged in. This is looking really good. Right, zip tie that down. Keep it tight in the back. Same over here. Spear Tech did a great job. This is beautiful harness. All right, I wanted to try to keep it tucked in as far as possible, but I need a little more wire for the transmission. Tie that up now. Battery at starter. Okay. Crank sensor. Oxygen sensor. And I have to, I should have it. I probably should have put this ground on beforehand. Should have got the knock sensor and crank sensor in plugged in before I put the starter up. But I might be able to plug them in. See that? Back there. Ooh, it's tight back there. There we go. So I'm gonna work on that. I'm having a little issue with the connector for the transmission. The tab is hitting the shifter cable. I'm gonna try to move that nut out of the way. Get this connected. So close. All right, All right I got it clicked in. So, gotta tighten these up again. I'm also running the E92 ECU and the ICT billet bracket. It's likely gonna mount it. It's hard to see on the light, but probably in the stock location or more in the middle. This way I can put a uh, vintage air 
unit in. All right, I'm trying to figure out if I should weld a plate or some tabs off this bracket, keep it as high as I can. If I should do it with aluminum or make some steel brackets and bolt this to it, and I can slide it over a hair like that. After many hours scratching my noggin, I went the simple route, just a few tabs with some rib nuts. I like the location. I'm just gonna make two more tabs off these brackets and call it a day. It was getting too complex and I was getting sick of it. I want something simple. It's out of the way for the AC box, should be. We can adjust it in the future. Yep. done yet. I cannot stand the sound. So we're going to stiffen these brackets up a bit. And I bought <clears throat> anti-vibration pads. So we'll try these out also. And I'm going to be done with this. So. Got rid of the sheet metal screws, I'm putting um, some rib nuts in there, quarter 20, and then I'm gonna mount up my new bracket. That's the new mount. All right, here we go. ECU is in, solid, it's not going anywhere. Should be good for vibration. Ooh. Okay, it's looking good. Clears. Sometimes it's the little things that take forever, but now I'm satisfied with this. All right, I'm gonna end it here on a good note. Thank you everyone that has been following along. In the next few weeks, I will try to button up all the wiring and then start laying out the fuel system. Keep a lookout for the next video.